barrage of bullets sent people scrambling near Grady Hospital today. It happened in a parking garage causing chaos in the middle of the afternoon. Atlanta News First, Chelsea Bond for is live there tonight. And Chelsea, now people want to know what Grady will do to keep them safe. Yeah, Savannah, this is where it happened on the second story of this parking garage here at Grady. We have seen some security out here tonight, but of course now safety is at the top of everyone's mind. They were saying everybody this way, everybody this way. Trinita Williams had just stepped into her doctor's office Wednesday afternoon across from Grady Memorial Hospital when she says the building went into lockdown. That They said someone just had um, let off about 20 rounds in there. Just a few blocks up the street, Atlanta police were responding to a shots fired call on the second floor of this Grady Hospital parking garage. So it's like they're going back and forth. Pop, 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 pop. No one was hit, but police say several cars were damaged. They detained one person and said multiple people are involved that all know each other. We do need a safe Grady. Since the closure of Atlanta Medical Center last fall, Grady is the only level one trauma center remaining in Atlanta. With thousands of patients, guests and employees passing through its doors every month, some now questioning what the hospital will do to keep them safe. I never really felt like I had to watch my back until today. Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens says his office and Atlanta police are in constant communication with the hospital, but more could be done. More cameras in the in the uh, parking deck and just more attention to the area. But at the same time, you know, these are two individuals that knew each other. This was not random like a uh, you know, uh, uh, something that occurred between unknown people. Either way, Trinita Williams says she'll be more alert when coming to doctor's appointments near Grady and plans to take Marta here rather than her own car. To park in that garage again, I don't think I'm ever going to do that ever. And we did ask the hospital system tonight if they plan on doing anything differently or increasing their security following today's incident in this garage, but we did not receive a response yet. Reporting live from outside Grady Hospital tonight, Chelsea Vine for Atlanta News First. Thank you, Chelsea.